Black Wildebeest The black wildebeest or white-tailed gnu is one of the two closely related wildebeest species. It is a member of the genus Conochaetes and family Bovidae. It was first described in 1780 by Eberhard August Wilhelm von Zimmermann. The black wildebeest is typically 170 to 220 centimeters in head and body length, and the typical weight is 110 to 180 kg. Males stand about 111 to 121 centimeters at the shoulder, while the height of the females is 106 to 116 centimeters. The black wildebeest is characterized by its white, long, horse-like tail. It also has a dark brown to black coat and long, dark colored hair between its forelegs and under its belly. The black wildebeest is an herbivore, and almost the whole diet consists of grasses. Water is an essential requirement. The three distinct social groups are the female herds, the bachelor herds, and the territorial bulls. They are fast runners and communicate using a variety of visual and vocal communications. The primary breeding season for the black wildebeest is from February to April. A single calf is usually born after a gestational period of about eight and a half months. The calf remains with its mother until her next calf is born a year later. The black wildebeest inhabits open plains, grasslands, and karoo shrublands. The natural populations of black wildebeest, endemic in the southern part of Africa, were almost completely exterminated in the 19th century, due to their reputation as pests and the value of their hides and meat. However, the species has been reintroduced widely from captive specimens, both in private areas and nature reserves throughout most of Lesotho, Swaziland, and South Africa. The species has also been introduced outside its natural range in Namibia and Kenya. Description Black wildebeest are sexually dimorphic, with females being smaller in size and more slender than males. The head and body length is typically between 170 and 220 centimeters. Males reach about 111 to 121 centimeters at the shoulder, while females reach 106 to 116 centimeters. Males typically weigh 140 to 157 kilograms and females 110 to 122 kg. A distinguishing feature in both sexes is the tail, which is long and similar to that of a horse. Its bright white color gives this animal the vernacular name of white-tailed gnu, and also distinguishes it from the blue wildebeest, which has a black tail. The length of the tail ranges from 80 to 100 centimeters. The black wildebeest has a dark brown or black coat, which is slightly paler in summer and coarser and shaggier in the winter. Calves are born with shaggy, fawn-colored fur. Males are darker than females. They have bushy and dark-tipped manes that, as in the blue wildebeest, stick up from the back of the neck. The hairs which compose this are white or cream colored with dark tips. On its muzzle and under its jaw it has black bristly hair. It also has long, dark-colored hair between its forelegs and under its belly. Other physical features include a thick neck, a plain back, and rather small and beady eyes. Both sexes have strong horns that curve forward, resembling hooks, which are up to 78 centimeters long. The horns have a broad base in mature males, and are flattened to form a protective shield. In females, the horns are both shorter and narrower. They become fully developed in females in the third year, while horns are fully grown in males at age of 4 or 5. The black wildebeest normally has 13 thoracic vertebrae, though specimens with 14 have been reported, and this species shows a tendency for the thoracic region to become elongated. The scent glands secrete a glutinous substance in front of the eyes, under the hair tufts, and on the forefeet. Females have two teats. Apart from the difference in the appearance of the tail, the two species of wildebeest also differ in size and color, with the black being smaller and darker than the blue. The black wildebeest can maintain its body temperature within a small range in spite of large fluctuations in external temperatures. It shows well-developed orientation behavior towards solar radiation, which helps it thrive in hot, and often shadeless, habitats. The erythrocyte count is high at birth and increases till the age of two to three months, while in contrast, the leukocyte count is low at birth and falls throughout the animal's life. The neutrophil count is high at all ages. The hematocrit and hemoglobin content decreases till 20 to 30 days after birth. A peak in the content of all these hemological parameters occurs at the age of two to three months, after which the readings gradually decline, reaching their lowest values in the oldest individuals. 
The presence of fast twitch fibers and the ability of the muscles to use large amounts of oxygen help explain the rapid running speed of the black wildebeest and its high resistance to fatigue. Individuals may live for about 20 years. Ecology and behavior. Black wildebeest are mainly active during the early morning and late afternoon, preferring to rest during the hottest part of the day. The animals can run at speeds of 80 km per hour. When a person approaches a herd to within a few hundred meters, the wildebeest snort and run a short distance before stopping and looking back, repeating this behavior if further approached. They communicate with each other using pheromones detected by phlegmen and several forms of vocal communication. One of these is a metallic snort or an echoing hick that can be heard up to 1.5 kilometers away. They are preyed on by the lion, spotted hyena, cape hunting dog, leopard, cheetah, and crocodile. Of these, the calves are targeted mainly by the hyenas, while lions attack the adults. Thanks for watching.